Welcome to the first episode of how to use our tube notching tools. I'm Matt and I'm gonna be walking you through the best techniques me and Kevin have learned over the years. Most of the pieces that you're gonna see here on the video are fairly short and we did that for demonstration purposes. In reality, you're gonna be starting off with 10 foot or longer sections from your material supplier. You're gonna cut them down to size, get them cleaned up and get them center marked and then you're gonna put them in position. There's a variety of ways to do that and you see us using our fixture system here which is still in development. Kevin's marking the location of the tube that he's going to cope. That location is either gonna be from a print or you're gonna be doing it by eye. Now the string line is a really simple technique and we just love it. It represents the tube that we're going to make and it represents specifically the center of the tube. Now that we have the string line, we're gonna be using it, as you're seeing now, to get the joint precisely positioned. The marks being made here help keep us in position. These are the maximum extents of where the tube needs to go. And also, the tube is going to be at the angle that matches the string. The little yellow marks on the tool are there to help you maintain good alignment. We're using the one third rule here, which is the ideal engagement between all of the tubes. How to use that rule is outlined in good detail in the manual that comes with the kit. Kevin's measuring that out from mark to mark, and then he's marking the center. And these are targets, by the way. When you're using the laser tool, you need something to aim at. So he's just using a little 90 degree square. This right here is for presetting the tool. You'll use that later. Now, before you get started, you're gonna wanna check your laser and the technique here is pretty straightforward. Turn it on, get it loaded, put the laser up against the fence as you see there and mark a piece of paper. Rotate the tool and place it back against your fence and make sure that the laser is pretty close to center. Uh, we recommend plus or minus an eighth of an inch and anything more than that can be adjusted out using the screws provided by the laser. Now, we've never needed to do this, but should you need to, that's how you do it and you're pretty much all set. You can leave the string in place, but we don't. For the most part, the tools can take care of themselves without the string. So use the square you set up earlier to help preset the tool. This is not strictly necessary, but as you become more and more experienced with the tool, you're gonna find that presetting it is very helpful. Get the laser aligned. Make sure your tool is on center. Follow the yellow marks and the center marks on the tube. Keep your tool within the marks you made earlier, as you can see here, and slowly press it into place. Use another tube to press out the laser tool. Don't try and do it any other way because you'll bump the pins and lose your trace. Slide the tube in that you're going to notch. Make the alignment between the yellow marks and center and just trace out the shape. You can see here that the tube fits nicely into position. For curved sections, there's a, a nice technique we have to use the reverse side of the tool. So all of the video here that you're looking at is a demonstration on how to use the reverse side of the tool. So everything is done like normal. You take your curved section, center mark it, We removed the center pin in order to help keep things aligned. You can see right here that the gap where the center pin used to be is perfect for eyeballing center. Just hold it in place over the end of the tube. This is the reverse side, so you hold the reverse side just over the end of the tube, trace it, cut it, and fit it. This did require a small amount of touch-up. They weren't uh, deep enough, so we just deepened them with a die grinder. And you can see there it lands nicely on center. Please leave a comment for anything that you want us to teach you. Keep an eye out for the fixturing system that should be on the market soon. And we'll see you guys later.